right, so this is page 262, number 9, and I couldn't remember if you all wanted me to do this or not, so I'm just going to do it, and you can watch it if you want. Um, so basically, this is the information they give us. They say that this curve is going to be bound by both axes, so that's this. These two equations, this is, oh, my lines are very bad today. x equals 0 and y equals 0. Okay, they also say that it's bound by um, x equals 2, which is here. Okay, bad drawing. And then also by the equation 1 8 x squared plus 2. So basically, our vertex for our parabola is at 2, and then it goes up like this. Okay, so the region that they're talking about, if I can fill this thing, um, let's see, is that region. So they want us to find the equation of, or the volume of that region as it is rotated around the y-axis. So rotated about y-axis here. So basically, we know that this is 0, 2. And we need to kind of figure out how, what the size of this one is. So um, this is where x equals 2 intersects with 1 8 x squared plus 2. So I'm going to basically substitute 2 in everywhere I see x. So that would be x2 squared is 4 plus 2. So I end up with y equals half plus 2. So y is 2.5. So this one is 2, 2.5. All right. So we're going to handle this one the way that we handled the one that we did in class on Fridays. We're going to divide this into two pieces. Okay. And we're going to write an integral for the bottom piece because what we essentially have here again, well, I'm going to use some tools here. So we have a cylinder. So here's the bottom of my cylinder. Oops, that's not right. For a sec. Here's the top of my cylinder. Okay, there we go. And then I've got some vertical lines. Connecting my pieces together like this. Okay, so that would be the bottom part of, so that would be this part down here. So I'll sketch that in blue. Okay, that's the bottom part that we found. So if I fill this in with blue, maybe that will. Okay, so. So that's the bottom part, but then what we're seeing is that we're just seeing a very small parabola with a height of 0.5, right, because we're going from 2 to 2.5, on top of it. So it's going to look something like, like this. Okay. Um, Here's the top, and I bet this isn't going to let me fill because I didn't two. My lines don't connect. Oh, it's going to fill all right, just the whole screen. Okay. Oops. Oh no, cancel. Oh no, this is a problem. Okay, just a second. Technical difficulties here. There we go. Okay, at any rate, basically, we have this going on, and then the bottom of our parabola sits here. So there's a piece that. Um, so basically, we have like a little glass again that has like a, parabola, a paraboloid cutout or something similar. Um, so basically, we're going to find the area underneath here first, right, because it's just a cylinder. So that would be um, in our drawing from here to here, okay? And then we're going to deal with the top. So basically, we know that um, we have one radius, and that's the large radius. There's not anything being cut out. So we could subtract the small radius, but the small radius is zero, so that doesn't really make sense. So the equation for this bottom part is pi, and we're going from zero to two because it starts at zero and goes up to two. And then we're going to basically put in our radius and square it. So our radius is from zero to two, right? And since we're going about the y-axis, Remember, we do pi times x squared dy. So if x equals 2, x squared equals 4 dy. Okay? And to that, we're going to add this top part. So 
And here's what we need to do. We're, we stopped at 2 here, but the next part continues from 2 all the way to 2.5. Okay? Now, the whole radius is the same as the whole radius for this part. So we end up with 4, and now we're going to take away what's cut out because we're going to find all the way up to here. That's what the radius of 4 does from 0 to 2.5, but we need to get rid of this purple part. I don't know what happened there? That was strange. Okay, so we've got to solve this equation in terms, or we've got to solve this in terms of y. So we're going to basically say y equals 1 8 x squared plus 2. And remember, we're subbing in x squared, so I don't need to get fancy with this. I can just leave x squared. So I'm going to start by subtracting 2 from both sides, and then I'm left with 1 eighth x squared, and then I'm going to times both sides by 8 to get rid of the 1 eighth. So I end up with 8 times y minus 2 equals x squared. And if I simplify this, I get 8y minus 16 equals x squared. So that is what we put in here. So 8y minus 16, x is already squared, so we don't need to do anything else, times dy. And remember, dy is that the height of those little rectangles if we were going to be the 2D. And if we're talking 3D, it's the height of our disks that are disk slice, or in this case, our annulus slice, because there's holes in the middle of each part of the cylinder that we've created. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewrite this in a simplified form. Um, this one's pretty easy. This one, um, this is really negative 8y and positive 16. So I have 4 plus 16 is 20 minus 8y dy. And now I'm going to integrate, and I'm going to leave pi hanging out front, okay? Um, so um, we end up with 4y because we're going... Um, from 4, and then we're integrating, so from 0 to 2, plus, um, let me drop my off here too, I'm getting a little sloppy today, I'm sorry, okay, um, plus, I'm leaving, having pi out here outside the bracket, so I don't need to write it again, the integral of 20 is 20y, and then the integral of negative 8y is negative 4y squared, and then, we're doing that from 2 to 2.5. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and sub in our values so we can. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my values. So I'm going to do this first into, or this first value first. So 4, and I'm subbing in 2 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. And then if I subbed in 0, it'd be 4 times 0 to 0, which I'm not going to write for obvious reasons. And then I'm going to add that to my second part. Um, from 2 to 2.5, so I end up with 20 times 2.5, which is 50, minus 4 times 2.5 squared, so 2.5 squared is uh, 6.25, times 4, which is 25, okay, and now I'm subtracting everything from here, so I have to use parentheses, okay, so 20 times 2 is 40, minus 4 times 2 squared, which is 4, so 4 times 4 is 16, okay? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and simplify this. So I end up with 8 plus 50 is 50, well, okay, I'm going to do this first. 50 minus 25 is 25, plus 8 is 33, minus 40 minus 16 is 24, okay? So we end up with... 9 pi for our volume.